the last week and a half I've just been sitting in my basement and eating quesadillas at midnight and never changing out of my pajamas. That's actually all stuff I did at night when I was employed too. So what I want to build is a straw that automatically cools your drink as you use it. Um, I got an old house, I don't have an ice maker, so I don't, I'm cheap, so I haven't bought a new fridge with one. So I'm going to build a straw that makes my water ice cold for me. The idea is fairly straightforward and simple. I'm going to make a sensor that senses the water going up the straw. Once water is going up the straw, it's going to activate an actuator and it's going to make this stuff go down this copper pipe. And so, just like that. It's probably this stuff probably isn't really good to breathe. Probably can't see on there, but it's, it's icing up pretty good. Oof, it's cold. If I can get this copper tube wrapped around this tight enough, and I ordered some some um, heat conductive paste for heat sinks and stuff like that that I'm gonna put between there to make sure it all, and I'm gonna wrap some insulative tape around it, make sure all the cold from this is going into this. And um, it should chill my drink as it comes up the straw. That's the plan. Um, I started, modeling it. I had some really nice CAD software and when I got laid off the other day my work was kind enough to say hey use it until your um, your license expires um, and then the license expired like seven days later so now I gotta use this free crap called Onshape which I've used before and I don't hate it but it's not nearly as good as what I had. Right now I just barely started a few minutes ago I got my straw, I got the coil wrapped around it how I want. I will um, try and make it Usable, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a, it's gonna look ridiculous, but it's gonna make me have a nice cold drink. I hope. I kinda don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna build it anyway, because why not? I'm bored. So after a lot of trial and error, I got the tube to wrap around the half inch aluminum aluminum pipe. I was really worried that it would pinch shut. You can see how much it flattened out, which I'm actually not minding now because it gives more surface area. But I did a test on a three quarter inch pipe first and if that'll focus, you see there's still a lot of space in there and I've actually have tested this. I put this in here. I super glued this straw in the end. It'll, the liquid will spray out and this gets ultra ice cold, too cold to even touch. Um, now it's frozen on there. So it works, now I just gotta put it together. Yes. Actually pretty solid. <laughs> awesome. Loves it. Right? Okay. That goes through that hole. Cool. 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 Looking good. Coming together. Now we gotta zip tie that to the wood. I need to get some longer zip ties. Oh, it's working. This is the stupidest looking thing. And good. Let's do one more set of zip ties on that can. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Looking good. I think I just need a couple screws to go in right there. That'll hold that actuator. Why not? Best use an impact reel on this. That's enough. Alright, we're good. Solid. Spring assist, maybe? Got a little bit harder. All right, let's go inside and get some electronics and a little bit more power. Okay, I lied. I didn't go inside to work on the electronics. I kind of rebuilt this so it's a little less janky and still janky enough to be awesome. So, got my water bottle with my straw, with my copper coil, goes through the wood to the, the keyboard cleaner, the straw, you can know, see ice on there, I've been testing it. And then the actuator. And um, I made it work by making a stronger battery by hooking these together. So let's test it before I go inside and put some brains in it. It's working. That is awesome. Look at that, it's cold. That's enough. Oof, too cold to touch. This is gonna work. This is really exciting. This is actually gonna work. That straw 
is so cold I can't really touch it for very long. It's happening. All right, let's go make this thing smart. I don't want to have to push a button every time I drink out of it. I want it just to make my drink cold as it goes. All right, it only took about a half hour, but I wrote some code to make this work, and it's fairly simple, and I'm really excited. Um, I'm just gonna make all this stuff look pretty, but basically, so there was a couple ways I could have done this, um, but I chose a fun way that I thought would be kind of cool. So these two, these two wires are my leads, and they will go into the straw at the base there, underneath the coil, and they won't touch. And they also won't, the metal, the metal parts in the wires will not touch the straw. Um, and what's going to happen is when water goes up the straw, it, uh, it closes this analog circuit here. And that tells, my, my code tells, then tells that digital pin over there to activate the um, relay switch. And it's just ran off of four double A's. And so you can see right now, See that LED light going off. And then that activates this actuator. I, already ra I ran this can low testing. And so that's it. It's that simple. It's a little bit of code. It takes the averages and of the analog stuff. And I mean, no one really cares about the code. But it's pretty straightforward. It's only, I mean, it's less than 60 lines. All right, it's all put together and I used Velcro instead of zip ties. Um, wiring's not pretty, but it doesn't matter. It's together. And this is my uh, little circuit right here. It closes and sets everything off. Totally portable and usable. I mean, who wouldn't want this? Let's pour some water over some electronics. Somehow not working. Not working. All right. Give this a trial run. Okay, I'm gonna test it with just with water. A little bit of water in there. Ah! <laughs> this froze my shirt. <laughs> All right. So shouldn't face it towards the user. It is making it a little bit colder, but not the way I hoped. Not as much as I hoped. I can ice your shirt pretty good. Ooh, way cold. So if you drink it slow, it makes the water ice cold. That's awesome. I can't believe that worked. This shouldn't have worked. Oh, that is the jankiest straw ever, but it works. I made a, a self-cooling straw or a, an ice water straw. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, it works. You just, I can't believe it. It's awesome. It was fun. Look at the ice still on my shirt. Like frozen solid. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess ideally you'd carry it around by the can, huh? Ah, so I had a lot of fun making this. I just kind of had the idea one day, and just since I have a lot of time on my hand now, I thought I'd make it, and it was a lot of fun. And I decided to film it and probably put it on YouTube and. Maybe I'll make more videos. I don't know. We'll see. This was a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun ideas and a lot of time. So we'll see where this goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you watched, see ya. I'll be fine. Warning, harmful vapor.